Hi guys, today I thought I'd do a couple of different swipes for you. Now, I'm going to use the exact same three colours, but I'm going to change the way I put the pillow paint down. So, on this one, I'm going to do a thin layer of paint for the pillow, even though it doesn't look thin. But once I spin that out, it'll definitely be thin. So what I'll do is I'll put some on the tile like that. Now the pillow paint is, what is it? It's British Paints, low sheen, just house paint. All right, so I'm going to put that on the tile, throw it on the spinner, give it a bit of a spin. So that should be all thinned out, it'll spread across, run down the sides, and you'll only have a thin layer on the top. Like so. Now, what we'll do is pop that up. So, so that, your pillow paint doesn't move, it doesn't run off the edges, it's just a thin coat over the top. Now, we'll put some colours down use three colors go for a fluoro pink like so we'll grab a purple that I made up in the last video Okay, and we will go a blue. Like that. Now, I'll grab a little swipe tool, like so. I'll grab some black cell activator, which is Amsterdam Lamp Black and Australian Flow Troll at roughly somewhere between 3 to 1 and 4 to 1 ratio. So, one part paint, three or four parts Australian Flow Troll. Now, we'll just put that on palette knife, give it a swipe, hopefully cells will appear, like that, what I'll usually do is where the cell activator is the thickest where I first started the swipe, I'll let that run off the edge, roll it back the other way so you don't distort the cells too much, like that, we'll grab a little skewer, put a little pattern down the side of it, I'll scrape some of that paint off that's run off. Okay, now we'll take it for a spin. Try and get it as close to center on your spinner as possible. Like that. I'll do is press down because it's a glass spinner. The paint that's underneath it will suck it down to the glass. It shouldn't move too much. So we'll give that a spin. We'll go back the other way just to keep things even. Let it do its 
Now, you'll notice on this one that because we had a thin layer of paint on the top, the design hasn't moved around much. Spread out a little bit sideways and spread out a little bit lengthways, but it really hasn't moved very much. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll pause the video here, I'll grab another tile, and we'll do the next one. Here we go. This time, what we'll do is put the pillow paint down on top quite thick and loads of it compared to how I did the other one. Like that. We're going to use the same three colours, which was the pink, we'll grab the purple, and the blue. Okay, so I've put roughly the same amount of paint on. We'll get the selector over. Same amount on the palette knife. Like so. Give it a swipe. Cells pop up. So where the cell activator is the thickest there, I'm just going to tilt it like I did the other one. You hardly have to move it because there's so much paint there. Move it back to the center. We'll grab the skewer, put the exact same pattern in it. paint drips off so it doesn't fly everywhere. Not that it should anyway because it's in a big plastic tub. Alright, press that down so it doesn't move too much. We'll give that one a spin. Let's see what happens. Get that the other way. As you can see, because we had so much paint on that one, a lot of the design has come off over here on the spinner. And it's spread right out, right across it. So you lift that up. See how much wider that is? Just because of the amount of extra paint that was on it. Which is cool if you want to spread your pattern right out over a whole tile. But if you want something that's sort of, you know, you don't want things to move around too much, you're best off having a thin pillow. So, and that's the end result. Just by having different amounts of paint for your pillow down. Exact same colours, just different amounts of pillow. So what I'll do is I'll grab the other one, and we can compare them side by side. 
So that's the first one. That's the second one. So you'll see how that one's still really tight. All the cells are perfect. Tiny little. Whereas that one is spread right out. So just keep in mind if you want something like that, use a thin amount of paint pillow, bleh, pillow paint down. But if you want it to spread it out, put a bit more down. Those are two different results using exactly the same stuff. Alright guys, hope that was informative. You guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.